Γεια σας φίλες και φίλοι μου, καλημέρα, τι κάνετε, welcome back, are you ready for another Greek lesson? If you are new here, my name is Stalo and today we are going to talk about a very interesting structure in the Greek language, the double negative. Do you know for example how to say I didn't say anything to anyone? You can check your answer in a few minutes. By the way, if you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. Push that button. Thank you so much. What is a double negative? A double negative is two or more negatives in a statement. Usually, one of the negatives is a verb. In English, the double negative is considered grammatically incorrect. In Greek, it's 100% grammatically correct. The double negative occurs in many languages and it would be interesting to know whether it's grammatically correct in those languages too. Maybe you can leave a comment below about the double negative in your own language. These are the most common negatives that are used in a double negative. Κανένας, no one. Τίποτε, nothing. Ποτέ, never. Πουθενά, nowhere. Καθόλου, not at all. Καν, not even. Ούτε, not even, ούτε, ούτε, neither, nor. Κανένας is a pronoun, so it does have a masculine form, a feminine form, and a neuter form. All three genders, κανένας, καμία, κανένα, are formed from the word καν, which means not even, and enas, mia, ena. They all mean one, masculine, feminine, and neuter. Canenas can be used by itself, but also in front of a noun, in which case, just like any other pronoun, it must agree with that noun. Canenas then kimate, no one is sleeping. Κανένας δεν κοιμάται. Δεν έμεινε κανένας σπίτι. No one stayed home. Δεν έμεινε κανένας σπίτι. Here, κανένας is used in front of a noun. Κανένας μαθητής δεν είναι στο σχολείο. No student is at school. Mathitis is masculine, so we refer to a male student. Κανένας μαθητής δεν είναι στο σχολείο. Καμία μαθήτρια δεν είναι στο σχολείο. Μαθήτρια is a feminine noun, so we refer to a female student. No student is at school. Καμία μαθήτρια δεν είναι στο σχολείο. Κανένα παιδί δεν είναι στο σχολείο. No child is at school. Παιδί is a neuter noun, therefore κανένα is in the neuter form. Δεν θέλω τίποτε. I don't want anything. Δεν θέλω τίποτε. Δεν ξέρω τίποτε. I don't know anything. Δεν ξέρω τίποτε. And here is the answer to my question. Δεν είπα τίποτε σε κανένα. I didn't say anything to anyone. Did you get this right? Δεν είπα τίποτε σε κανένα. 
Here, as you can see, we have three negatives. Δεν είπα, τίποτε, κανένα. Sometimes you may even have four or five negatives. Δεν παίζω ποτέ μπάλα μέσα. I never play ball inside. Δεν παίζω ποτέ μπάλα μέσα. Δεν τρώω ποτέ πρόγευμα. I never eat breakfast. Δεν τρώω ποτέ πρόγευμα. This is a little complicated. Μην πεις ποτέ τίποτε σε κανένα. Don't ever say anything to anyone. How many do we have here? One, two, three, four. Four negatives. Μην πεις ποτέ τίποτε σε κανένα. Το καλοκαίρι δεν πάω πουθενά. In the summer, I'm not going anywhere. Το καλοκαίρι δεν πάω πουθενά. Δεν βλέπω τα κλειδιά μου πουθενά. I don't see my keys anywhere. Δεν βλέπω τα κλειδιά μου πουθενά. Δεν είμαι καθόλου κουρασμένη. I'm not tired at all. Δεν είμαι καθόλου κουρασμένη. Δεν μου αρέσει καθόλου. I don't like it at all. Δεν μου αρέσει καθόλου. Δεν θέλω καν να παίξω. I don't even want to play. Δεν θέλω καν να παίξω. Δεν ξέρω καν γιατί. I don't even know why. Δεν ξέρω καν γιατί. Ούτε ένα έργο δεν είναι καλό. Not even one movie is good. Ούτε ένα έργο δεν είναι καλό. Δεν είδα ούτε την αδελφή μου. I didn't see even my sister. Δεν είδα ούτε την αδελφή μου. Here, with two words that mean the same thing, ούτε and can both mean not even, we make the sentence more emphatic. Δεν είδα ούτε καν την αδελφή μου. I didn't see even my sister. Δεν είδα ούτε καν την αδελφή μου. Δεν θέλω ούτε καφέ ούτε τσάι. I want neither coffee nor tea. Δεν θέλω ούτε καφέ ούτε τσάι. Δεν θέλω ούτε να φάω ούτε να πιω. I want neither to eat nor to drink. Δεν θέλω ούτε να φάω ούτε να πιω. Now sometimes ούτε ούτε can be used in a structure that is not a double negative. Let's look at the following example. Ούτε τρώει ούτε πίνει. He neither eats nor drinks. Now the difference here from the two previous examples is that ούτε τρώει ούτε πίνει is an independent clause, meaning that it can stand alone. It doesn't depend on anything. If we compare it to the previous example, δεν θέλω ούτε να φάω ούτε να πιω. I want neither to eat nor to drink. Ούτε να φάω, ούτε να πιω is a dependent clause. 
It cannot stand alone. It depends on the verb then θέλω. So, ούτε να φάω, ούτε να πιω by itself doesn't make sense. One more example. Ούτε τραγουδώ, ούτε χορεύω σε γάμους. I neither sing nor dance at weddings. That's not true, I do. Ούτε τραγουδώ, ούτε χορεύω σε γάμους. And here is a table of the Greek alphabet. That's all for today. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again soon. And please don't forget to push that button. Thank you so much. Ευχαριστώ. Γεια σας.